All right, uh, my final poem is called Cosmic Insignificance. One of my inspirations is the slam poet turned rapper George Watsky. And he has a pair of quotes that, I go, that go hand in hand that I've kept in my mind and I've even used in speech class and I'd like to think he's flattered. Basically, he explained that there are billions of people on Earth and that for some reason, we seem to think that we matter. I mean, who the hell do we think we are? And that number is only the people who currently reside under the stars, not including everyone who's ever existed, and history goes back far. So that number turns into 107 trillion, 602 billion. I'm not even a blip on the radar. It's easy to feel like anything we do won't make an impact unless we're one of the few who we learn about when we open a history book. And I know I'm kind of a bummer, but if you stop listening now, then my intentions will be mistook, because I'm here to say that the previous logic is the wrong way to look at this. Watsky also described how there are billions of people on the planet, but I have the audacity to think that I matter. So what if some asshole doesn't know who you are in a hundred years? That guy can go fuck himself because you are so important to the people who are here, currently on the planet, and who are near you. There are people who fear you will stop being a part of their lives. Without you, their happiness of the people you know would suddenly be deprived. But it goes back farther than that. Any job that you have or do will almost always assist in the happiness of a complete stranger. From firefighters who save lives to a worker who helps bring the satisfaction of a delectable baconator to hungry bellies, or even a factory employee who inspects the comfortable fitting Wranglers, you make the world go round no matter what you do. And even just a smile. I was talking to a kind old man who owns a shop not far from here, and he explained that a few things that stay the same over time are smiles and tears. He said, if I smile at him, he feels good and smiles at someone else, and a hundred smiles later, it is my smile on someone else's face, meaning the smile I smile today could have originated from a father seeing his kid for the first time long ago, like a thousand years. And the smile you, you make tomorrow will probably last until the end of time, and so every human life should be revered. The only time your insignificance should be considered is when you make a mistake. And, and relief that in a hundred years, no one will know you failed a test or lost some cash, so stop worrying and stressing like some things are at stake. Just enjoy life, make others happy, and remember it is important that you were created.